Welcome to today's Gale Force Twins episode. Now we're super excited. This is a different episode. We are in Puerto Rico and we are gonna be scuba diving a fad. Right now we are on a research vessel, the Blue Tide. And what we're doing is we're gonna be going out scuba diving, getting underwater and seeing what a fad looks like. Fad, for those of you that don't know, fad means fish aggregate device. A fad is basically a marlin drive through. It attracts the bait, it attracts the bigger fish, and the bigger fish, and the bigger fish. And it is an entire ecosystem. And what's gonna happen is boats will go out and fish near these fads, searching for the marlin. But we're gonna get underwater, and we're gonna see what these fads look like. My name's Amanda, Emily's behind the camera, and welcome to our channel, Gale Force Twins. here with the Sport Fishing Championship for their last and final tournament. But we did find some time to come out and get away and go scuba diving. So we're gonna be meeting with Benny. And Benny is going to be teaching us everything we wanna know about fads and he's gonna be our dive guide. But for those of you that don't know, a fad is basically, the best way to describe it, it's like a drum, an underwater drum. Some of them are on the surface, some of them are below the surface between 50 and 75 feet, basically in the middle of nowhere. So it'll be 2,800 feet of water then you'll have this fad come up from the bottom of the ocean up to 75 feet, 50 feet below the surface, and you have a whole ecosystem. And the marlin cruise through, and it brings in the fish, and then it brings in the boats, brings in the fishing, and it brings people to Puerto Rico to come and experience it. We are officially on our way out to the fad. We got a little bit more information. The fad is in 2,000 feet of water, yet it only sits 50 feet below the surface, so we did tell you that, but 2,000 feet of water, around four to five miles out, and there's a little replica of this fad inside. So I wanna show you guys this replica, because first I want you to see it on dry land, or not really on land, on a boat, on, on the dry, boat. Yeah. yeah, so let's look at the replica first, and then we're gonna jump in the water, and you guys can see what it actually looks like, so let's go look at that. You guys are now looking at the replica of the fad. So down at the surface, so 2,000 feet down, is the concrete blocks. Then we have some chain, followed by some stainless steel cable. And we go all the way up to the surface, and this here is the fad. So this is floating 50 feet beneath the surface. And if you look here, these little white fluffy things, so that's the flag, and what that does is it attracts the small sea life, right? So it's gonna start with the small fish, the mollusk, anything that can grab onto that, and then the small fish will come and eat the bigger fish, and so on and so forth, until you have blue marlin, white marlin, sharks, big kudos, mahi, and tuna, all around the fat. feet below the surface to see the top of our fat. We had Benny, the Blue Manta Marine Operations Coordinator, guy that does it all, lead diver, head down first and lead us to the top of the fat. We can call this part the drum. You can see there's a rope tied to the top of the drum. Now usually this rope isn't here and we would just dive straight down to the fat without holding onto a rope. However, on this specific day, there was six knots of current. So getting to the fat would have been nearly impossible. Benny actually dove down to this fad first before any of us got into the water to attach this rope to the top of the fad. And at the top of the rope, we had basically a big buoy floating so that once this was all set up, we could just jump in, grab that rope, and lead our ways down to the fad. Underneath the drum is what we call the flag. Now the flag is where most of the life really grows, starting with algae and eventually mollusks and larger and larger species. This will then attract the bait fish. The bait fish then attract the larger fish. That could be mahi-mahi, tuna, wahoo, and hopefully eventually attracting the marlin. 
You can see what the amount of life we have on this fad, why we're calling it a Marlin drive through Because the Marlin can pretty much come through, get a meal, and keep going. Now here's me and Emily trying to get a closer look at the fad. You can see we are holding hands. And that's because the current was this strong, that if I let go and try to just kind of dive down deeper to see the flag, that current was just gonna take me away. So we held hands to kind of push each other down to see the bottom of that fad. We both gave this a try, and then eventually I let go of her hand and grabbed onto the flag, which was kind of a leap of faith, but I did do it. You can see all of the bait fish swimming around us. Today, the largest species we saw was a trigger fish. However, some days they said they do see mahi, tuna, wahoo, and even marlin visiting this fad. But because the current was so strong and Benny had to dive down first and attach the rope, he said that we probably spooked any of the larger species that were visiting. I do want to point out this fad is very new. It has only been in the water for four months and it's just starting to grow its algae. So you can clearly see how effective these fads are at attracting life. Imagine how much more algae will be on this fad a year from now, which I'm really hoping we get to come and see it in one year. We are on our way back to the dock and we have about 10 minutes to give you guys a quick boat tour of this research vessel. It's a 77 foot custom build called the Blue Manta. We're on the top deck and we're gonna get right into it. This would be their tender basically and what they'll do is if the marina is too small or doesn't have enough space they can anchor this boat offshore and they can use this to get to land and back. It's just kind of their like back and forth boat that they use a crane to lower down and then we've got tons of space up here. We have a lifeboat and behind Emily we have a helm station. Came hey, downstairs, put our shoes on. Can you see my shoes, Emily? Okay, so you can see our scuba gear is drying down here, but this is basically the back, the transom, the stern of the vessel, and let's just do a quick walk around the whole thing and then let's get inside. pilot house so you can see there is some incredible machinery on this boat I mean we've got radar obviously charts bottom machine cameras there's a camera of the engine room it seems like a very comfortable place to sit and drive this vessel up here we even have some sleeping quarters maybe it's for the captain there's a little curtain to close that thing and hide away if you wanted to wonderful chair maybe they have their crew meetings here before they head out and let's head downstairs to the galley the head and some more crew quarters down here we have some crew quarters top bunk bottom bunk and on the other side of the boat there is the exact same thing so and port and starboard side port and starboard we've got crew quarters on both sides we do have that um looks like a sleeping quarters for in the pilot house but there is actually a captain's quarters that has its own bedroom as well and let's go check out the head Inside the head, we have like a full-size head, a full-size shower, toilet, and sink. At the kitchen table, the galley, the galley table, excuse me, um, it's kind of loaded up with some of our scuba gear, our camera gear, the SFC team's camera gear. Clearly this boat gets used, but very comfortable. Got these nice bench seats, and right over here to my left, we have the galley. So we can step into the galley. We have a full-size refrigerator, Emily. Checking out that refrigerator. We're stocked with water, there's eggs in here, and I actually see some champagne. I wonder if we're celebrating anything. We have a stove, microwave, oven, which is shut. We have a sink. Let's see what else we've got. Great, plenty of space, cabinets, cups in there. So we've got a great size galley. I would definitely call this something like utility research space. So when we first jumped on this boat, we had a bunch of scuba gear all over the floor and every in an organized manner, of course. This is where they kept everything. We also have a sink here. And behind Emily, it looks like some artificial reef research that's going on. These honestly look 3D printed to me. Um, that would be a great question to ask them. But we do have plenty of research. Clearly, this is a research vessel. Plenty of space. It's a beautiful boat. It's an honor to be on here. We hope you enjoyed this 
boat tour of this wonderful 77 foot blue manta research vessel not every day you get to get on our research vessel and see what it's all about this boat has so much deck space it's clearly used for research it's got a tender you can scuba dive on it we've got artificial reef systems we got a fad replica what a great experience so thank you to blue manta for hosting us so glad to be here with the sport fishing championship in the meantime we want you to get out there have fun and stay safe